Hey guys, it's Sarah back with Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review, and this fragrance is one that doesn't get a ton of hype. This flanker, I think out of all of the ones uh, in this line, gets talked about the least. And without further ado, that's going to be Invictus Intense. Now this one is a little bit different from your regular Invictus. It does have that similar DNA. It's going to be that sweet bubblegummy vibe, but with a twist. When this opens up, you can definitely get the booze in here. Yeah, you have, definitely have boozy notes in there, which is why I decided to go with this one. I feel like the Invictus DNA has been done a lot, and I already have Hovas, which is close enough to Invictus Aqua, and Legend turns out way too sweet on my skin, so I thought, let's pick this one up. I like darker notes, and this has the boozy notes and the amber, um, which you can totally pick up even just in the opening of this. This actually gets really creamy to my nose, and I think it might have something to do with the orange blossom, but if you can think of the creamy notes, or the creamy vibes that you get from like the coconutty note, there's no coconut in here or anything like that, but that creaminess, that's what I get. And then, you know those green notes uh, that kind of tickle the back of your nose? I don't know if that's the best way to put that. There's laurels in here, and I believe that the laurels give that the green factor, and it, it kind of has a menthol-y feel to my nose. But it actually smells pretty good. Uh, once, you know, this starts drying down a little bit, I think you will start getting these spices in here uh, from the pepper. On top of that, this is also uh, a fragrance that has some saltiness to it. It has some ambergris but I think that actually just comes off uh, a little bit salty as well. If you can pinpoint ambergris better than myself, um, then you'll definitely be able to pick it up. To me, it just kind of comes off as salty. Now, is this different enough from actual Invictus to own it if you already have Invictus? Um, in my opinion, this is warmer, and I do think that it's different. It's not like just all bubblegum like Invictus, or at least like Invictus is to me. I think this is darker, it's a little more mysterious, a little bit more suited for evenings. Pretty versatile, just complete honesty to my nose, uh, but I think that this one would definitely be a lot better to wear in the evening than just regular old Invictus. Now, performance. When I put this on, I immediately thought, oh man, what a waste of money, because within 30 minutes I couldn't smell it on myself anymore. I was wrong because 45 minutes later I had a friend come over to have lunch and when she greeted me she was like oh you smell really good and I was like you can smell that and she's like yeah and she was here for probably you know another four hours so that would have been about into five hours after I sprayed this on and she said every time that I stood up she immediately smelled it so it kind of just pushed off. On top of that, I wanted to work, and when I got there, one of my co-workers said that she can smell it on me and it smelled nice. Uh, she actually said I smelled like Macy's. I feel like that's a compliment. Macy's smells pretty good. I, I, I'll take that. And she definitely said she smelled it pretty strong when I walked in. I sprayed about six sprays, so don't get me wrong, because again, I didn't really smell it. Um, but she said she was like several feet away, and she said she smelled it on me. And I came back uh, after a break, probably a couple breaks later, and I think probably about five hours into me wearing this, again, I was a foot away and she said she still smelled it, which is definitely really good considering that I didn't smell it. She smelled it well into my shift, so this on me, performance-wise, I was getting some pretty serious longevity. I want to say well over eight hours. Um, because it went through my whole shift, and I sprayed it well before I left my house, so I want to say it went at least 10 hours. On top of that, the projections are really good. Like, I mean, if I had already been wearing it for, I think, two hours when she was smelling it when I wasn't even close to her, that's pretty sweet projection. And a foot, like, four to five hours later, that's, that's really good. I definitely go in Nosmic to this one very quickly, which I n am no longer surprised about anymore, and that's why when I test my fragrances, uh, I don't... In terms of performance, I'm not giving you what I get from them, because I go in Nosmic 
super fast to probably about 30% of what I own. So I ask the people around me because I feel like that's a much better judge of the performance. So yeah, I mean, you're definitely gonna get really good performance off of this one. And obviously projection, longevity, and sillage are all pretty huge. On top of that, it's a versatile fragrance. I think you can wear all seasons. I do think it might be like better in the fall and the winter, but it's not cloying. And I mean, I put like seven sprays on one of the times and six sprays on the other and I wore it and it wasn't cold or anything. And it didn't choke me out. I mean, I, I didn't smell it, so it, it definitely didn't choke me out. And it didn't choke anyone around me out. So I think it's a pretty versatile one. Compliments? Yeah, I mean, I got compliments with it. It's a definitely a compliment getter. Oh, seasons, I would say fall and winter are the main ones, but you could definitely wear this year round. It's versatile. Where can you wear it? I think you can wear this anywhere. I do think it would really shine as a club banger because it's pretty loud, so I think that would be really cool. I don't know that this is one that you really want to wear to work. I mean, I do, but I don't know what you guys can get away with work-wise. I don't know that this is going to be a good blind buy or a safe blind buy because this isn't just like a safe fragrance. Like, again, you have some creaminess, some spiciness, a little bit of everything in this fragrance. I think it smells really good. If you like sweet fragrances, you very likely will like this. But again, this isn't really exactly like Invictus. This is going to give you a little bit of something different. Who can wear this? I mean, it's sweet. And Invictus in general, the whole bubblegummy vibe. In my opinion, pretty unisex. This one, I mean, I think, I think someone with a little bit more confidence might want to wear this. Cause again, the boozy notes, I don't know if that's for everybody. Uh, if you are someone who is a little bit more refined, I don't know that you're going to like the sweetness in this. Let's talk about price real quick. Bang for your buck. I always like to add that in. I got this one for, I think it was 53 to $55 for a hundred mil tester. This right here. Um, I think you couldn't get a tester for around that. You might even be able to get a tester for cheaper, but, um, I have points with fragrance by .ca, so that's where I went ahead and got this one. If you get points, you can save them up and get coupons and it's great. But yeah, I mean, bang for your buck. At first, I didn't think I was gonna be impressed with this, but I will say, uh, I definitely don't regret this buy anymore. I think this will be a really cool glove banger. When we can go out again. If we can go out again. Anyways, so that's my opinion on Invictus Intense. Uh, I am glad I picked this one up. I, I do think that it's different enough from the Invictus line for you to pick it up if you already have the other ones, but definitely get a whiff of it first. Cause again, I don't really think that this is gonna be like everybody's cup of tea. As always, thank you guys for watching Glam Finds and I'll see you on the next one.